This is Congregation 3. This is the third one, but this is the first night here at Hotel Cafe. And uh, thank you, Hotel Cafe, for hosting and, and uh, creating a safe space for us to be here tonight. Um, so let's bring up our first artist of the night, and let's dive in deep with them. Hilaire, but let's bring Hilaire up. Come on. Woo! And Joey on the keys. Hilaire is actually, she's a friend of mine, and come on up. Yes. Right underneath the calm. Thank you for being here. So, um, no, no, no. do that. How's that? Here we go. Yes. We're getting old around here. I got to take a nap real quick. All right. So, Hilaire is uh, an amazing songwriter and a singer and an artist. And she's really well known for her songwriting. In fact, uh, I hope I'm not spilling the beans here, but, you know, messing up your talk or whatever. But she co-wrote the song uh, Kings and Queens, with Ava Max. Oh, yes! Which is like her biggest song, I think, right? Or if not one of them. It's bigger than me, so it's huge to me. Um, and I'm a big dude. But it's a beautiful song. It's a great song. And um, yeah, I mean, I feel like there's even a little bit of spirituality in that. But Hillary, I mean, Hilaire, excuse me. Hilaire and I have. Uh, written music together as well, and I've always felt really connected, and there's like a message that we hone in on when we're writing. Um, so what I want to ask you is just a little bit about your spiritual journey, and so where you, where you began, you know, how you grew up, uh, who you are today, and then how it makes its way into your music. Cool. So um, I wasn't raised with like a particular religion. Um, Let's get cozy. Um, I wasn't raised with a particular religion, um, but I definitely feel like I'm a spiritual person and I was raised that way still. And I think for me, it's like um, just life itself feels spiritual and especially the natural world, just like animals and like the insane diversity of nature. Yes. It's like staggering to me yeah. and like stuff like that just like makes me feel it's like not necessarily like I don't know if there was a, an intention like a divine intention behind it or not or like a singular creator behind it or not but its existence to me just feels so meaningful and spiritual and it makes me feel connected mm. does that make sense absolutely so, yeah. yeah I mean you look into the world and there's so much beauty and there's also so yeah. much chaos right and right. it's just like it's it's magnificent in itself and whether it's by design or by flaw, mm -hmm. it's a, it's a, it's an amazing thing. Like yeah, um, I I totally agree. And like, I think another thing that um, that's been important to me was like the way I was raised with my parents was kind of like meaning. I feel like just like the meaning in everything in life is spiritual too. So like. Um, you know, like, um, did you see Barbie? I haven't yet. I haven't. I need to. So, I know I need to. It's, I in, my, wanna, it's like, on my watch give list. Give away something, but no, no, kind go, of going to. Do it. So, like, first of all, when I watched the movie, the whole first half of the movie, I was like on the verge of losing it, and then losing it good or losing it. It was like, just like it was moving me. It was like mm, getting to me. Cool. And then that's not hard because I'm like the world's <laughs> most emotional person. But um, so then, and then like the second half it really like amps up in that way and then at the very end Rhea Perlman I don't know if you guys know who that actress is um she comes out and she gives like the most eloquent and simple statement of like the meaning of life that I've ever heard I want to hear it I think we all need to hear this right now. yeah I don't know exactly but it was like something like um the purpose of life is to create meaning and I just was like, like it just hit me so hard. And I immediately just thought of my parents and felt just so much gratitude because that's what they taught me. Like that's the message that I grew up with. And I feel like um, my parents are like people who just embrace 
the, the pain, the beauty, like the poignancy of nature, of music, of whatever, and they like don't shy away from it, and they're willing to cry, like they cry all the time. Yeah. And they're I'm about willing, to cry right now. <laughs> they're like willing to be moved by stuff. And so um, that's, it, that's in me, and like that's how I'm wired. And so I just feel like really grateful because I do feel like that's what matters in life, and it's kind of like back to what you originally said about like there's chaos and pain and like ugliness and also beautiful stuff, and there's everything in life, and like, what are we gonna do but embrace that and kind of find it all meaningful, right? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, go through hell to keep on going, you know, <laughs> yeah. make our way to heaven, right. you know, or like, and I say heaven is in just like life. It's kind of a yeah. cyclical thing. Like, you know, I use the biblical term, but the darkness to the light, totally. you know, totally. um, it's all meaningful. It's all meaningful. You know? Yeah. And then to create something out of that darkness. Yeah and give it meaning, that that really feels like a spiritual thing. That's that's definitely what I do as well. You yeah. know, that's how I feel about life and music especially. Same here, so. like going back to the like, you know, the Barbie line, like creating meaning. I don't think that there is anything closer to that yeah. than what we do, or you know, for us, that's our, our lane of doing that. Yeah, it's absolutely. Like music, you know, and sharing like our honest, stories and like the the personal stuff that we go through in song is the most meaningful thing i think that people like us can do for ourselves yes. and for the world you know yeah i i agree and speaking of that let's hear some of your songs <laughs> yes thank you Helena, for sharing and just talking with me. <laughs> all right 